Hi. Hello. Happy good to, hump day. Good to see you. Yeah, nice seeing you. <laughs> so we're gonna check out Brahma Mama. Brahma Mama. My Brahmas? Oh, that's a good stretch. Oh my goodness. And okay. Brahma Mama. <laughs> well, she's sitting on all the eggs now. Okay, girl. This morning she was only sitting on all of them but one. Oh, she, did she move them or did you? She moved them, I didn't touch them. Oh, so I put them where the poop is. The poop wasn't there when I put them there. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. How's Brahma Mama doing? I'm not going to go in there and pet her because... She's feisty. She is a big protector. She is a protective mama. Girl, you could be sitting on nice... Cl okay. Clean. I know. I. That's why I didn't fill it up the whole way because I was like, well, you can decide what you want to lay on, but I guess I could have. It's okay. She's got, she's got water, plenty of food. There's one baby chick in there, but I'm not going to try to... Get the baby chick to come out because yeah, I was hoping it'd be out so they could see it but yeah she hatched one out already she's a pretty mama she's a good looking mama and then they're still using this nesting box it doesn't look like they're using the ones this is where she was birdie mm -hmm. we took her out and gave her the protection because the baby got out of the nesting box and you can see how tall it is yeah and it got behind the nesting box and mama couldn't get to it but she wouldn't let me get to it. <laughs> it was a big ordeal yesterday, so yeah. I was able to get it pulled out and let her get to her baby. Let's see if the other... Oh, here, Gracie. <laughs> and so Excuse we decided me. yesterday, last control. night, to put that in there. Well, we got an egg on the loose. <laughs> we always have an egg on the loose with these guys. Their fluffy butts like to carry oh, eggs. Honey, we got like a huge stash of eggs over here. I know. We need to get some more um, bedding material in here. Yep. <laughs> Hi, girls. They're not liking the other nesting box options. No. How are we doing, girls? Look oh, how oh, big they get. <laughs> Do we have anything? Any babies yet? Just eggs? <laughs> so scared of them. Well, I don't want them to peck me. I mean, there's not, there's no need to be pecked. I think it's just eggs. Yeah. I don't think we have any, any babies yet. Egg on the run. Oh, look at that egg. This one looks like they did a double yoker. That's a big yeah, look one. At the, the, mm -hmm. the crease. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go look at the other chicks. Hi, good looking coachins. <laughs> My favorite boy. Yeah. When you say that, are you talking the baby chicks or are you talking about these ones that are broody also? I was talking about the ones that I moved this morning. Okay. Oh. Hi, everybody. Been hiding behind the camera today so far. You are a good looking boy. He's so. He's so vibrant. Like Yeah, he's so bright, like so his colors. Bright white. Yep. Yeah, he's a very every whenever whenever I sell hatching eggs, I always take a picture of at least one hen and the rooster mm -hmm. to give to people just to show them <clears throat> you know what my stock looks like and every time they're like, Okay, I'll take another dozen <laughs> when they see him. Yeah, he's a good looking. They're boy. like, he's so gorgeous. So he's a good selling feature. Uh, Same with the salmon favorel. They're very handsome roosters. And okay, so the three brooders that we had inside the house had to move them. Oh, did you put them all in one? Nope, oh. because I was spraying with the mold killer today. <laughs> so in here, we have two of the three. It's funny how they're kind of keeping in their groups. Uh-huh. <laughs> they ate all their food. They need no more food. It's our first day on grass. Yep. First day outside, first day on grass. They're doing pretty good, considering that the sun's not directly out, but it's like 78 degrees. I mean, they're not cold by any, you know. These are all our barnyard mix. These so are all barnyard mix? All of these are. 100%? 100% barnyard mix. Really? Yeah. Even so though there are two, they were these two? Correct. Oh. The the ones, the yellow ones, I guess you're pointing at the black ones. So the black ones, I believe all of those are from the black Osterlorp uh -huh. group. Okay. And 
the two gray ones and all of the light colored ones yeah. are from the Salmon Favreau group. Oh, okay. So when we had the Salmon Favreau rooster up with all of our hens, uh -huh. and it looks like the majority of them look very similar to a Salmon Favreau chick. And some of them have the feathery legs and the extra toe. Some yep. of them don't. Yep. Okay. And yeah, so it's a good mixing. And then the other group was Dark Brahmas and One Cochin was in the other brooder box. Here, I'm gonna feed them while we're here. Okay. Ooh. So I have this weighted down, just, just in, in case. case. Yeah, we don't need any, any snakes or any predators or anything deciding they want to yep. have a snack. Yep. Did you bring, oh, is food out here? Yep. Nice. And then put those little totes up there as wind blocks also, just because they're not used to being outside. They're so cute. If anyone needs any baby chicks and lives close to the East Tennessee area, these are all available, $3 each. For you, for our viewers, we will do a special Two ninety nine each. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, I was filming the grass. They're so cute. That one. They're gonna have some fun markings. I'm very curious to see how they end up looking. I always love the surprise of the mixes. They're fun. The gray ones I'm really excited for. I think this one right here is a female. Oops! If you can see it. So, oops. All right. Is, are there other? Oh, look at that. There's that bird. Big birds. Yeah, it's a big bird. And there's another one coming. Right there. I don't think those are the vultures. Uh-uh. They don't look like it. No. Here. No, not at all. Yeah, they're circling. All right, let's go head over to the other area. Yeah. We're back up here. That bird that I said I saw... <laughs> It was on the ground and it flew up and it just flew overhead and it didn't have the white markings of the turkey vultures. So it's a bigger, bigger bird. I wanted to check over here where I saw it. Just make sure there isn't a dead chicken on the ground. Accounted for this one. There's probably one in the nesting box. There's one missing. I know I don't have any food. I'm so sorry. Normally I have food for y'all. Oh, yep. She's in there. Like, excuse me. Hey, now you, sir. You know better. We've had this discussion. He's how, like, how many I? black ostrom are you supposed to have? They're all there. I counted. Okay. I counted these. I counted everyone. Oh. That was the only one that had one that wasn't accounted for. Okay. Because the other girls in the nesting box. Okay. I just want to say something with this this meat bird yeah. rooster. He's a good looking boy too. <laughs> Look at him. He's coming to his own. Yeah, he's not so gangly anymore. Uh uh. So he's he, a good looking rooster. He's he, a big guy. He's so big. I we need to pull him. That poor Olive Egger must oh, be yeah. the favorite Yeah. in the Black Osterlorp. So the babies that we just showed, those baby chicks, these are the mamas. Okay. But the rooster would not have been him. It would have been a salmon favorel, a salmon favorel that was up here. 
So uh, okay. the the next group that I'm hatching out uh -huh. is going to be these guys with with, that with him. Oh, that's going to be. So they're going to be a little bit bigger birds. They'll be good dual purpose birds uh -huh. because he's such he's going to almost all of the birds in there are dual purpose anyway. But with him being added into it, I think he's going to add some some nice size to the birds. Yep, she went in the pond. This morning, I was doing <laughs> chores. And I look over at the pond and Kinsley's standing in the middle of the pond, just standing there looking at me like, this is the best. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Dad, what do you think? You want to come join me? I'm like, no, no, I do not. <laughs> she was just having so much fun just standing there. And mm -hmm. so I washed her off. I took her to the hose and I yeah. washed her off because it stinks. Yeah, the pond now stinks. Now she wants to be brushed or washed, washed again. off again. Yeah, she does. Somebody, uh, there was a comment about on the last video about feeling bad for the dogs and how hot it was and did we have a pool or something for them because they don't have access to the creek oh, uh -huh. and yes they have access to the pond we know it's gross they don't really go in the pond even when it was cleared out like winston would walk through it a little bit we had a pool for them neither of them would even go near it mm -hmm. they would not go in it they didn't like it at all they wouldn't even drink from it no so i went to the ducks so that geese. one went to the geese because we did have an, we actually had two extra ones. One ended up kind of getting ripped because I think you let the pigs, I think the pigs. Oh yeah. Well, like. <laughs> they wanted to see, the Yeah, they, we were going to give it to the pigs and they ended up breaking it immediately. So no, the, the dogs, what they, what they do have is there's an area across our driveway right here where the dog house is. You can maybe see the red buckets. Yeah. And it is like, 10 to 15 degrees cooler there at any given time. Mm -hmm. It's nice and shaded, like it doesn't get hot and that's where they stay. Yeah. So, I mean- Plus they have dispersed throughout the property. They have water everywhere. Property. We have water everywhere. It gets refreshed every morning because by the time the end of the day rolls through, we got tons of pollen in it. Yep. But they have, they have these things or five gallon buckets. Yeah, see? <laughs> We have them all over the place. Yeah. So they have access to fresh water. Clean, cold water. And then if they really want to, they can go to the pond. Yeah. I can get that darn electric fencing all, along the property. Yeah. Fence. Then they'll have installed. access. Then we'll just open it up and they can go back down to the creek. But for now, we don't have that. Okay, we're gonna go head over to the green porch. We'll meet you there. Here's another water bucket. It's crazy how fast it gets just gross. The pollen. Yeah. We've got another geese. Come here, that another goose that went broody. Come here, right there. So she's laying on her. Come here. Wait. She's laying on her wait. eggs. She just started laying like two days ago. Could you just wait. And the other one is still sitting, but we candled them. It looked like there might be some development in them more so than Wait. anything that we had in the incubator. So we're hopeful, but it's it's about to the time where... Kinsley, come here. Come on, Kins. I'm all done. Huh? I'm done. Oh, you're done? Okay. Yep. Shake it off, Kinsley, shake it off. Shake it off, shake, shake it off. I think that's a song. <laughs> uh, I know what you're, which, I know which song you're talking about, but I don't think that's it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, gosh, now that, that, that jingles in my head, <laughs> but I don't know what the... It's Taylor Swift. Oh, that's not at all what I was thinking. I was, thinking <laughs> I was like, I don't think you know. No, <laughs> I was thinking like some 80s song. Oh, no. All right, this is the other place I put the, the, um, the third Bro brooder oh, put from inside. Here. I put them in here. You so, Oh, you put the Brahm. Oh, okay. And I separated them. Because they're a couple, they're like almost a month or three weeks apart. Yeah, so. Those are all dark Brahmas except for the one black one in there. That's, oh, that just got jumped on. And since they look kind of similar to those, I sprayed them with. Oh, I, I know them apart. Okay, I don't. Okay. <laughs> so, so that way if, if. If they get over. If they get over, we can easily tell. Oh. <laughs> In fact, this is the coaching. In fact, one got over before uh, I put the second oh, riser up yeah, in here. Jumped up and over. 
before I put this up. Mm -hmm. um, it jumped over and I was able to, to get it. Figure out which one it was and, and get it out of there. Yeah, so these are the dark Brahmas. And the reason that little cochin is in with the Brahmas, it did hatch with the, kind of with the batch, but it hatched about four days later than the rest of the cochins, um, which are in here. Oh, actually, yeah, no. these are all the same group. Um, Where did we put the two that, um, that hatched from the, the one that was in the, with the frizzle? The two? They're, they're barnyard mix. Oh, okay. So what I was saying is this little cochin hatched four days later than the rest of the cochins, and it was stuck in its egg. Oh, that's right. And so I had to help it. And when it was born, its feet were like this. Yeah, they like, yeah. Completely, like. so it was walking like this and on the backs of its legs. And so we did a little bit of work with it to make sure to try to hopefully straighten it out. And one straightened out like within a day and the other one took a couple more days. And so I wanted to leave them with a smaller group. And at that time I only had three Brahmas that had hatched, but you can see the large amount of these guys. And mm -hmm. so I just wanted him to be able to, him or her to grow and do whatever they needed to do. Oh, Kinsey. That's... Straighten out. Come here, wet girl. Yeah. Oh, the wet girl. <laughs> Oh, you're you, so wet. You go with mama. Okay, you sit. Oh, good girl. <laughs> yeah. Today was a good, a good productive day. The thing that I'm working on with the house, removing the first floor joist, it's the floor joist that is directly underneath a wall. So I'm lifting the wall up, taking the sill plate and the first floor joist out, spraying down all of the, the mold that's around the area and then putting new sill plate and new floor joists and then putting the wall back down. And so I've been working on that since yesterday and today. Tomorrow I'll be able to put the sill plate in and the new floor joist in. Yes. And I should be I should be done tomorrow. With that wall. This the south wall, yeah. Okay. I was like, oh yeah. Not not no. Wow. No. <laughs> I was I was like, damn. With, with <laughs> just that one floor joist. And then the rest of the floor joists are all not open okay yeah they don't have any uh anything on them so it's just it's just a matter of removing them putting new floor joists in as i go along mm -hmm. um anyway hey, yes. so I good so good productive day i thought i was going to continue working after we film kick but i think i'm going to just rest yeah because it's it's a lot <laughs> what are you doing? and then i'll just focus on tomorrow so the question is do we put these chicks back or just have them be where they are they're going to be um these ones or all of them because those the, can't stay outside tonight okay so we'll put unless those, we'll we these, these these can stay in here because these can stay in here because we'll, we'll, we'll have the heater but the other ones either we'll have to bring a heater to mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. which i'm fine with mm -hmm. or scooch them over so we can put the heater on them mm -hmm. uh, but it, they're not quite ready to be fully like they need probably two more weeks before they're fully off heat completely mm -hmm. like a hundred percent okay so i just don't want to yeah, no, let's not push it. No, because it's not as warm. Like, it's not staying in the mid-high 60s like it had been. Yeah. It's it's going to drop down into the 50s and 40s. And okay, so I'll, I'll need your help bringing them back in then mm -hmm. for tonight. Yeah, either, or we can just, like I said, just, just get a heat, like, we can a run an extension cord or put a heat lamp over there. I'm fine with that, too. Okay. Because th that one's a really good br brooder to do that with. Mm -hmm because it's got all of the extra stuff that we can add it to. Mm -hmm. So I'm good with that. Okay. Okay. And they'll be fine with just a heat lamp. Oh, you know what I don't have to do tonight? Run to Lowe's. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty certain. Because last night after I re recorded <laughs> Kicker, I had to go back to Lowe's again. Yeah. Just for one item. One. That's that's the worst when it's like an hour round trip for one item. Yeah. It's like, ugh. Yeah. But I stayed home. I was like, yeah, no, I don't. I'm not. I've <laughs> been there, done that. I was like, I'm good. I like, don't want a date night with my husband. Nope. It, it was Monday or Tuesday night. It's not our date night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my, my jaw still hurts a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't think I was feeling very good yesterday because 
Nate kept saying it was, it was beautiful out. And I was like, I am sweating, I am dying. It is humid, it is hot, I was clammy. And he's like, no, what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so much. The selfie stick's not quite long enough, is it? <coughs> no, it needs one more. Yeah. Yeah, one I, I thought 24 inches would be, or 21 inches would be enough, but yeah. need like a 30 or 36 inch one. Yeah. <coughs> I think I inhaled a bug. Mm, that's the that worst. Was, that was real, not, not pleasant. So yeah, any? Anything no? else? No, not really. I don't think so. I feel like there's something, but I can't, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just have a lot of work scheduling issues with the events I was assigned. I just found out today that literally I'm supposed to be in two places at once, two different, for four, four events are kind of on top of each other. So I'm like, I can't, I cannot be in Vegas and Detroit. And that's, and that's in October. That's in October, yeah. So at least I have some time to plan and stuff, but my next event's going well and everything is very running smoothly and we're pretty, we're pretty much ready for it. So I'll be, where am I gonna be? Where is that one? I think it's Florida again. I don't know why I'm always I'm always going to Florida. It seems I had I had made it forty <laughs> four years without going to Florida, and in the last few years, I think I've been there fifteen times for work. <laughs> yeah, it's just been like, of course the events in Florida, which is fine. It's just it's always in the summer, and it's always when it's hot out. It's never in the winter when it's nice out. It's always been like miserable and they're outside events most of the time and I'm just like oh I can't yeah. deal with this <laughs> yeah I'm not or, quite used to the humidity yet <laughs> yeah we thought the humidity was bad here yeah I will say my New Orleans event was the worst yes that one when I got off the plane I was like oh this is going to be rough <laughs> yeah right being right on the gulf yeah it was I mean we get that gulf we get that's where our humidity comes from is from the gulf mm -hmm. and the stream comes the stream up here comes up, yeah but man being on the gulf whoo yeah it no, was thank you i just i i wasn't prepared for it you know if you've never experienced that in your mm -hmm. entire life it was hard to breathe mm -hmm. like it was really like ooh. <laughs> i mean i'm not a physical girl anyway but for events i i have a lot of things I have to haul back and forth and loading vehicles and it's a lot of manual labor that I deal with so doing that in humidity when you're not used to it is not pleasant no. so no. <laughs> I'd rather rain or like you know something else yeah. so yeah it'll be good though we'll figure it all out I want to clean up that area it always bugs me which area the geese area yes I know there's lots of lots of cleanup that I want to do but I'm really just trying to stay focused on this yeah. house. I'm walking around, like, take my morning walks with the dogs and the sheep if they want to join us. And I look at all these little things that just mm -hmm. need to be you know, moved or cleaned or just something to do that's not really that much of a priority, yeah. but it'd be nice to have it cleaned. Yeah. I'm like, nope, 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 don't get distracted. Yeah, I was just, I want to give the geese more area, Yeah. different area. Yeah. But the problem is, is where we put the the hoop coop right there now she's broody and so now we can't move it but i want to thank you kinsley i want to give more grass so i want to extend this the white fence that you see bring it out this way a little bit more or we could, if we could move them just into that paddock right there but i don't think we can move them while they're broody no not while they're broody i think they need to stay until they're they're done because I mean, yeah, I just so it's figuring out how I can get that netting to kind of go right behind the the hoop coop and get out of all those wood out of that big pile of debris that didn't burn and give them all this grass right here. Oh, this stuff. Right yeah, here. this stuff right here. So I just want to basically move, them up. move it a little bit forward mm. so that I can give them a nice little patch mm, here so they have that. some grass. But they have grass, but and they don't eat, they don't eat all the stuff that's back there that most mm -mm. of the time you guys don't even yeah, ever see with the trees right back there yeah, yeah they don't go there's a bunch of grass back there but they don't typically walk back there mm -mm. Nope. unless they're chasing me <laughs> they're chasing you <laughs> <laughs> running running for his water <laughs> i think he was running towards something else and he's like wait I'm he's like thirsty. wait i'm gonna drink this <laughs> yeah they're so funny but today's got to be like a significant decrease. 
in temperature. It feels so much better. Yeah, They're really much has. more active today. Yesterday, they just wanted to lounge. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Okay, we will see you tomorrow? Probably. Okay, cool. Oh. It does so sweet. They love each other. Ish. Ish. Yeah. 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 Ish. I was going to say that. <laughs> as long as Hi, no buddy. food's involved. Hi, buddy. Good. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. What did you roll in? Your head's dirty. Wipe it on daddy. He loves it. He loves the dirty dog. It's his favorite. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Good boy. You're a good boy. He is a good boy. He's a very good boy. <laughs>